All right, it's time to install uh, the last piston. I've done the three others. Uh, all the same. Um, this is a cross flow motor, cross flow pistons. Therefore, the dome. This is the intake side. This is the exhaust side. Fuel goes in, goes out. Fuel goes in, combust. Exhaust goes out. Exhaust side, intake side. So first thing we do before we put the pistons, we check for end gap on the rings. These are the rings before we install them. Check their bores to make sure they're okay. It's been machined. We make sure the machinist did a good job. And we make sure that the right rings came in the package. Wrong parts are right, so you check. That one checks out perfect. This is a feeler gauge, by the way. It tells you the end gap on the ring inside the cylinder. So this is what we're doing. We're, when it goes in the cylinder, of course, it compacts and we're checking the end gap. Make sure it's within spec. Now we can install the rings on the piston. A special tool to do this, which I actually own, but I like to use my fingers better. So we spread it out. And if you notice, there's an alignment pin right there. You line that up. That goes where the, the gap in the ring is. Pins. I've already coated it once, but I'm going to put a little more oil on it. Install a ring compressor, making sure the rings seat nicely on the pins. Rotate, lock it in. I like to use the back side of a ball peen hammer, the back side, the front side. Should go easy. There it is. That's it. Four times. Check rings, check end gaps. Make sure the pistons are in correctly, directionally. So we installed these cylinder heads, just a couple bolts in there. So the pistons don't fall out because I have to flip it over now. Fairly easy to do. Take a bolt. upright so we can attach our connecting rods okay now it's time to uh, connect the uh, attach the connecting rods to the crank this is a connecting rod it's uh, just comes down through when we put the pistons in that's the other side of the pistons so I've got a threaded rod that uh, works really good we pull the rod up line it up we have our caps arranged so we know what cap goes on what rod because you can't mix them up I'll say it twice. You cannot change a uh, rod cap. One rod cap goes on that specific rod. It's the only way to go. We install new bearings. Put those in there. We grab our rod cap. Sure it lines up. You can't probably see it on video, but these are fractured rods. They're made in one piece, broken apart. So once they line up, it mates perfectly. So all we're gonna do is put our rod bolts on. We're gonna just uh, snug them up for now, torque them later. These are all the rods. They're all connected. They're torqued as well. Turns nicely. Pistons are going. You can see actually. You look through the ports here. See the piston go by. 
That's how the fuel is introduced. The ports open, lets fuel in, compresses, ignites, back again. Uh, you probably cannot see any line there. That one is aligned perfectly. So connecting right line, uh, rod alignment, very important. There's an edge out here, there's an edge inside. So we're gonna just double check it and then we can put the halves together on the block. Once the pistons are all assembled, the crankshaft um, connecting rods are all aligned. So make sure it turns over evenly. No binding, nice and even, full rotation. That turns real nice. So you can see how the pistons are working. You see the ports intake. It's almost like a scoop action. Exhaust down there, and then right outside, right down it through the midsection into the lower unit. So.